Well, I think today is a good day to talk about Thanksgiving because Thanksgiving is very, very close. Today is the 25th of November, and so it's only a couple of days away. And I want to talk about what does Thanksgiving mean? What is Thanksgiving? I want to, I've been thinking about doing this for a long time. I feel like maybe God wants me to do it for a long time. I want to explain to you, I want to talk about what is Thanksgiving? Why do Americans celebrate it? What, what does it mean? You know, what is this part of American culture? And I want to say, Thanksgiving is an American holiday. It's a uniquely American thing. It has its origins in the very first you know, chapter of our history when the settlers were first coming over uh, from England over to the New World. And it's something that we've continuously celebrated, officially and unofficially, for hundreds of years ever since we existed. Uh, Americans have always been celebrating Thanksgiving. We've always been having this holiday. Even before it was official, we were, we were still celebrating this holiday. We always have been. And I think nowadays, you know, in, in 2019, there's so many atheists, so many, you know, anti-Americans, so many people who hate America. They hate Western civilization, not just America. They hate all of Western civilization. They hate all European people. They hate America, they hate what it stands for. They hate democracy, but they call themselves Democrats. They hate liberty, but they call themselves libertines, but they hate liberty. They hate everything that the Western world and the democratic world and that America and that even Europeans have ever stood for, and especially Christianity. And you know, they just really, they're all, you know, there's all these people are always looking for an opportunity to say something negative about America, to say something negative about our culture, to say something negative. You know, as an American, I would not be permitted, I would never be allowed to say something negative about your culture. It doesn't matter where you are in the world. Americans are not allowed, social, we're not socially allowed to say critical, nasty things about other people. It's just not done. It is too much criticism if you do it. You know, you're not even if it's a valid point, you know. So why do people have, you know, a license, basically? Not just a license, but a bounty. You know, you get rewarded for it. To, to go out and to criticize American culture, to criticize our life, our holidays, what we believe in. But you see, as a result of this, I feel like there needs to be a defense of Thanksgiving. So, <clears throat> that's what I want to do. And basically, Thanksgiving is exactly what it sounds like. It's the day that Americans celebrate being thankful for everything that we have. And if that sounds surprising to you, then maybe you have a stereotype, a false, a, 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 an incorrect mistaken or false opinion about America and Americans. There's just a, you know, I think it's a, ra it's a racist thing. It's a very racist stigma that goes against Americans to think that we're a bunch of greedy, selfish people. But that's not true. Americans are not greedy. We're not selfish. We're not nasty, horrible people. We're not arrogant. We're not vicious. We're not mean. We're not bad guys. We're good guys. We're no different than you. We're the same as you. So I think that everyone should learn to love and respect one another. That's my opinion. But Thanksgiving is the American holiday that we celebrate being thankful. We're thankful to God. And that's what it is. A lot of people will say that it's pointless because who are you going to be thankful for? Who are you going to be thankful to? But I'm telling you, Americans have always celebrated Thanksgiving ever since the first the first day people that came to America from, from Europe. And <clears throat> we're being thankful to God. But we're not only being thankful to God, we're thankful to our neighbors. 
you know, the very first time that anyone celebrated Thanksgiving, we were being thankful to God and to the, to the Indians who were our neighbors. If you're aware of uh, Jamestown, the colony of Jamestown, and, you know, they were trying to survive in this new climate. They've never been to America before. They didn't know how to survive. But the Native Americans came and helped us because we were starving. The people of Jamestown were starving to death. They were, you know, pretty much almost the entire population kept on dying. Like, if you can imagine a place that has 80% of the people are dying of sickness and hunger, that's what was happening. So, you know, this whole this story that America is these horrible imperialistic monsters who are attacking and killing everyone around them is not true. You know, the, the first people in Jamestown, they didn't know how to survive, and they were starving to death and getting sick and dying and freezing to death, to be honest. The reason we celebrated Thanksgiving is because the Native Americans kept on helping us. They kept on giving us food. And so that's why th in Thanksgiving we have a, a feast. We have a lot of food. We have a, a big feast, a big dinner. We have a big feast. It's because we were starving to death and the Native American people gave us food. And we credit that to them and to God. Because God uses other people in order to be his helping hands. To give to give gifts and blessings to other people. So that's why it's important to be kind to one another. Be nice to people. Help them out. Do a good turn. Because you're being the hands of God. You're, you know, God wants to do something in the world. And he's able to do it himself without your help. But he's also more than willing to let you do it for him. And that's a good thing. To let, he lets other people do good, good deeds to help, help everyone out. Anyways, so from the very, you know, you could say Thanksgiving is, is a multicultural uh, holiday because it's both the Native Americans and the European Americans who are celebrating together. So I think it would be wonderful if everyone, both Native Americans and, you know, European Americans and everyone who's an American now would all celebrate this together. And... I'm sad. I'm very sad about a lot of the history between the Americans and the Native Americans, the, the, the Americans and the Indians. But I think that now in 2019, we're all, we're all one tribe now. At this, at this point, you know, it's, it's hundreds of years later. I think we're all one tribe now. Maybe in the past we were separate, but now we're one. The Native Americans and the Americans, in my opinion, I feel like you're, you're part of my tribe. So, if I saw anyone who was Native American, I would consider him to be an American, with no, no questions or comments about it. You're, you're, you're one of us. That's my opinion. I hope, I hope that that feeling is mutual. But I, I see that the, the holiday of Thanksgiving is an extremely positive thing. And, once again, this is the case for Thanksgiving. Thanksgiving is the unique and special American holiday where we celebrate our, our bounty. We celebrate with thankfulness. It's, ce it's a celebration of gratitude. It's all about gratitude. We're grateful to God. We're grateful to the Native Americans. We're grateful to our neighbors. We're grateful to our family, to everyone in our lives. We're grateful, for, to, we're, we're grateful in every direction. We're thankful in every direction, and it's, and it's just a, a, a prayer of thanksgiving to God and, and a celebration of smiles and, you know, a, a wink of the eye to everyone else around us of thankfulness that they've been good to us. That's what it's about. And, but every time I talk to a, a foreign person who's from another country, they're always saying something negative about Thanksgiving, and I can't understand why. Why would you attack a holiday, an American holiday, that's all about gratitude? I'm tired of people from other countries coming to my country to say nasty things about me, to just to make a racist generalization about Americans 
about the character of an American person. Americans are a bunch of greedy, materialistic, selfish, horrible people, and that we don't really celebrate Thanksgiving because you, like you say, you, you guys are too selfish to celebrate Thanksgiving. It's all a sham. Why would you come to my country to, to accuse me and my people of being selfish, greedy, horrible people who, and that you don't really celebrate Thanksgiving? You're fake. You're counterfeit. You're not really thankful because Americans don't have any gratitude. You know, you come to me, to my country during November when we are celebrating gratitude and you tell me that, that us Amer you tell me that me and my fellow Americans, we don't really celebrate it because we're not having gratitude. That's not true. That's like, that's like, you know, walking into the middle of a church that's celebrating Christmas and telling them that they don't really believe in, in religion or in God or in Jesus because X, Y, and Z Americans couldn't possibly be sincere about celebrating religion. But here we are celebrating. We're celebrating right now. So I think that if you are in another country, and this video is mostly aimed at people in another country, people who, or you, you're visiting America, what is Thanksgiving all about? Thanksgiving is Americans being grateful and thankful to God and to everyone else around them. That's the, and we celebrate it with a gigantic feast. Of, uh, we have a party, we gather our friends and our neighbors and all of our friends and family together, and we have a feast. We have a good feast of food. Why? Because we were starving to death. We were starving to death. And the Native Americans came and shared their food with us so that we would survive the winter. And so that's what it was about. And it's a very good thing. It's a very positive thing. And we have a lot of very unique and special recipes and 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 favorite foods that we, we traditionally eat. It's our traditional American meal. And you know, Americans have been celebrating Thanksgiving forever. Ever since the first time it happened in Jamestown, we've been celebrating Thanksgiving. Or was it Plymouth? I think it's, it, it, was, it was Jamestown, but it might have been Plymouth. So... Forgive me if I, if I make a mistake on one, on, on one t uh, point, on one detail, okay? But the truth, it's the same story in both Plymouth and Jamestown. They were starving to death, and they were freezing to death, and they were getting sick, and the Native Americans came and helped both, both areas. That's just what happened. But, you know, that's what it's about, and it's, it's a very good time. And it's leading up to Christmas. And I think a lot of the negativity, the hostile criticism, it comes from Black Friday. And unfortunately, that's a horrible coincidence, but it, it does not reflect on our character or our, our culture or on the institution or history of Thanksgiving. That's just when the lawmakers decided to have tax day you know, they're, they're going to have a tax, and they're going to tax the people. And so, in order to avoid taxes, all the, the, the businesses are trying to reduce their income, sorry, uh, reduce their, their stock, so that they have less, less stuff in their shelves, so that they won't be taxed as hard. That's why they're doing it, because they don't want to get taxed. So really, Black Friday is based on fear. It's fear. It's based on fear of being taxed. So pe the businesses are trying to get rid of all their uh, merchandise so that the, the government doesn't tax them for it. So that's why. And it's really unfortunate that it's so close to Thanksgiving. I f but I think that that's a, a legal issue that needs to be resolved. We need to change the day when that happens so that it doesn't be so close to Thanksgiving. Um, but... I just want to say Thanksgiving has always been an American holiday. Americans have been celebrating Thanksgiving again and again, l hundreds of years before Abraham Lincoln declared it to be a national holiday. It was Abraham Lincoln who decided to make Thanksgiving an official holiday. But Thanksgiving has been a holiday in America ever since the beginning. So before Abraham Lincoln was ever elected president, people were still celebrating Thanksgiving 
and they were calling it Thanksgiving because Thanksgiving has always been a part of American history. Abraham Lincoln was just the guy to make it official. And he was a Republican. He was an abolitionist. He was an anti-slavery warrior. He was elected president because he wanted to abolish slavery because he was a righteous and a good man. And anyone who criticizes Abraham Lincoln has no clue about history. You're so uneducated and indoctrinated that you don't even deserve to be allowed to get up on the stage and speak because you don't know what you're talking about. Abraham Lincoln is the most righteous dude you ever saw. He's a good guy. He's, he's the man who ended slavery. It's Abraham Lincoln who ended slavery. It's Abraham Lincoln who fought the Civil War. He's, a, he's the best president ever since Donald Trump. So there's, you know, George Washington, Thomas Jefferson, Abraham Lincoln, Teddy Roosevelt, and Donald Trump, and, and FDR. Except FDR had some problems with creating socialism, so I'm going to make him, I'm going to cut him back. I'm going to say he's less, but, you know, those are like the, the, the greatest presidents ever, and they're all basically Republicans. They're all conservatives, by the way, but they were conservatives. But Abraham Lincoln is a righteous dude. But he did not invent Thanksgiving. He just made it official. But you know what? If Abraham Lincoln has any effect on Thanksgiving, he makes it better. Because he made the world a better place. And he is a righteous guy. He was a good guy. So he doesn't deserve any criticism. And neither does Thanksgiving and neither does America. So, thank you for listening. God bless you. And I thank you. I'm thankful to you for listening to me. And I'm thankful to God for giving me this opportunity to speak to you. I'm hoping that this video will go to people in other countries who are wondering what is this American celebration all about. And I hope that this will make it more easy to understand what, I'm, what is Thanksgiving all about. This is the case for Thanksgiving. Thanks for listening.